video, we are going to cover triangle similarity part one and part two. So remember, with similarity, uh, objects are similar when they're the same shape but not the same size. And we know that the corresponding angles are congruent. We also know that the sides are proportional. If you'll remember, when we talked about uh, in in first semester, we talked about triangle congruence. We talked about several, diff several different postulates. We talked about angle side angle, side angle side, side 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 to prove that triangles are congruent. Well, in the same way, we have postulates and theorems that will show us that a triangle is similar. One of those postulates is the angle angle triangle similarity. Okay, so what that tells us if does, is that if we have two angles of one triangle that are congruent, to two angles of another triangle, then those triangles are similar, okay? And if you think about it, that makes sense because one of the things that tells us that a triangle is similar is that the corresponding angles are congruent. Now, if we're given two angles, we automatically are able to find the third angle, right? Because the triangle has to add up to 180. So if two of the angles are the same, then we automatically know that that third angle is going to be the same as well. So for example, on this one, if we have a triangle that adds up to 180, we'll take 46 and add that to 28, which is 74. And then if we take 180 and we subtract that from 74, we're going to get 106. So we know that both of these angles are 106, which means all three of the angles. So you actually only have to be given two to show that the triangles are similar. Another postulate that we use is the side, side, side triangle similarity postulate. Okay, now this one is different. You don't want to confuse it with congruent triangles, okay, because side, side, side triangle similarity is saying that if the ratio between the corresponding sides of a triangle are equal, then the triangles are similar. So what it's saying here is that the sides have to be proportional, not equal, okay? So for example, on this one, um, what we wrote is that HG, okay, this side right here, over JK needs to equal GI over JL, and that also needs to equal IH over LK. So we just put these numbers in here, HG over KL, or excuse me, KJ, which was 6 over 1.5, and then we put 10 over 2.5 and 8 over 2, okay? If we reduce all of those, they become 4, okay? So that tells us that the sides are proportional. So now we can say that these two triangles are similar because of the side, side, side triangle similarity postulate. Okay, the other one that we use is side angle side triangle similarity, okay? What that says is that if two sides are proportional and the angle in between them is the same, okay, it meaning congruent, then the triangle is similar, okay? So, for example, look right here. I and G, okay, side IG corresponds to side LJ, okay? So, that would be 5.4. Having trouble with my pen here. Okay, 5.4 over 1.8, and it needs to equal 4.5 over 1.5. Okay, and then, uh, and the reason that we have to choose those two sides is because, look, our angle that we have in between them is this 70. So we know that the 70 equals 70, so we have to choose the two sides on opposite side. We can't use side IH. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take 5.4 and we're going to divide it by 1.8 and that's going to give us 3 and then we're going to take 4.5 and divide it by 1.5 and that's also going to give us 3. So we know that these sides are proportional. So what I can say is that triangle uh, HIG is similar to triangle, and remember, we want to go in the same order. So if I went H, I, G, then I want to say K, L, J. 
Okay, so here we want to determine which of these triangles are similar by the angle-angle similarity postulate. For those triangles that are similar, write the similarity statement. Okay, so here we're just looking for angles that are the same. Okay, so here we have triangle ABC. It has a 90-degree angle and a 34-degree angle. Okay, so um, if we look down here, okay, let's look, at, let's look over here. All right, we have 34 and 34, all right? So those are the same. Now, here we have a 56, and here we have a 90. So we're missing some information, so we have to figure that out, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take 34, and we're going to add that up to 90, and we're going to get 124, and then we're going to take 180, and we're going to subtract that from 124, and that's going to give us 56, Okay. So that, that tells us here, I have 56 and 34, 56 and 34. So I know that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Okay, now let's look down here. Here we have 34 and 88, all right? Now, if we look up here, we have 34 and 90, okay? So those numbers are different. So since these two are not the same, we know that this one is not similar to that one. So we know it also can't be similar to this one over here, DEF, okay? And now let's look at this one right here. We have 90 and 56. We'll look up here. We also solved that already, right? 90 and 56. And we know that about this one too, 90 and 56. So we also know that this, uh, that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF is also similar uh, to triangle JKL. So all three of those triangles are similar, and that's how you write a similarity statement. For this one, it says determine whether each triangle is similar to triangle RST and explain why or why not. Okay, so if we look at here, RST, we're given two angles, all right? So we know that we're going to have to use the angle-angle similarity postulate, okay? Um, since we're not giving any other information. So now let's look down here, all right? We're given um, 80 and 50, okay? So what we want to do is uh, look at, at what this third side would be and what this third side would be to see if the, um, to see if it would be, we want this one to have 50 and this one to have 40 in order for it to be, uh, in order for it to be similar. So we're going to take 80 plus 50 which is 130, and then we're going to take 130 and subtract it from 180, and that's going to give us 50 degrees. Okay, so uh, that automatically shows us, right, that we're not going to get, uh, th these two are not going to be similar because we don't have two angles that are congruent. This one needs to have a 40 somewhere because 80 plus 40 is 120. 120 minus 180 is going to be 60 degrees, okay? Okay. So if we look over here, okay, we have 40 and 80, 40 and 80, okay? Angle, 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 angle are similar. So we can say that triangle RST is congruent, or excuse me, is similar. And remember, we want to write it in the, in the same order. So here we have 80, right? We went 80, 40, 60. So here we want to say QPR, okay? Now let's look down here again, okay? We have 60 and 40, all right? Here we have 60 and 40, okay? So we know that those are, tri uh, those are similar. Triangle RST is similar. And again, look, I went 80, 60, 40. So here I have to go 80, 60, 40. So I'm going to say BAC, okay? On this one right here, all we have is one angle, 40 degrees. So we don't know on this one. We don't know these two angles, so we can't say that that one is similar, okay? So C and B were similar to triangle RST. Okay, so it says for this one, uh, do the following. Determine which postulate or theorem proves that the two triangles are similar. Explain which sides and our angles support your answer, and then write the similarity statement. Okay, so on here, if we look, we're given two sides and two angles, okay, two sides and two angles. Now, um, if we look at these two sides, in order to do side angle side, we would have to have an angle right here, okay, so that's not given to us. We could find it, but that's just extra work that we don't need to do because if we look right here, we have 89 and 46, 89 and 46, okay, so that means that we can use the angle-angle similarity postulate to prove 
that these two triangles are similar, okay? So that's part A. And then part B, it says explain which sides and or angles supports your answer, okay? Well, angle K is similar, or excuse me, is congruent to angle R, and angle L is congruent to angle S. Okay. Since we have these two angles that are congruent, we know angle, angle. So therefore, we can say the triangle JKL. Okay, So I'm starting with no angle 4689. No angle 4689. So here I have to say QRS. Triangle JKL is similar to triangle QRS. Okay, And here real quick, remember our signs. Okay, Congruent right here means equal, right? That they're they're the same. That's why I would write that equal sign with the little squiggly above it. So try, angle K was the same as angle R. That's why I said congruent. Now, similar just means same shape, different size, and we don't write the equal sign under it. It's just a little squiggly line. Okay, on this one, again, determine which postulate or theorem proves that the two triangles are similar, okay? So if we look right here, we have a triangle that's inside another triangle. All right, so if we look here, we can say that AC corresponds to QS. Okay, so we have those sides. If we look here, we can say that angle A corresponds to angle Q, right? And then if we look right here, now AB is the long side, right? That, this side, AB corresponds to QB. So actually, our information that we have right here um, is going to be side angle side, all right? That's going to be... Uh, what we have right now. Now we could uh, we could use angle angle uh, because for angle B, right, they share the angle, so we know they're automatically the same. But we're not really given that information, so you want to use the information that's given to you. Um, it's usually the easiest. So here we want to do side angle side is the postulate uh, we're going to use. Okay, and make sure when you're writing it out, you want to say similarity postulate because. Um, we also have a side angle side congruence postulate, right? So we want to make sure and distinguish that we're talking about similarity here. We're not talking about congruence. <clears throat> okay, so here um, we want to explain which sides and our angles support our answer. Okay, so here what we want to what we want to hope for is that AC over right AC over QS needs to equal AB over QB, okay? And then we also need to say that angle A is congruent to angle Q, okay? So we know that. We already know that. Angle A is congruent to angle Q, 39 degrees. Now here we're going to take AC, that's 3.2, over QS, which is 1.6, okay? Now here, A, B, we're not given the total, but we are given that this is 3 millimeters and QB is 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6, and then QB itself is 3, okay? 3.2 divided by 1.6 is 2, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we can prove that these two sides are similar and that these angles are congruent. So we can prove that triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle QBS because of side angle side, which we proved at the top right there. And that's the end of triangle similarity one and two.